Okay guys, welcome back. This is Dr. Jones again. And what I'd like to do is just give you an introduction about um, our RFID project in which we're working in the construction industry. Uh, currently we're working on a project in the construction industry in which we are tr uh, util utilizing and testing different technologies, both passive, active, and semi-passive uh, technologies to work in the construction industry. Uh, in, on that project, we're looking to see if we can actually track different things while uh, a product is track different things going in, in and off a construction site. And we're also looking at can will the technology support when a construction uh, product is being built? For example, if will a tag on an I beam allow for a uh, when, the, when the plaster repairs around it will it allow for future tracking? And we can even see when a product is being built what percent of that product is actually being built, maybe tied into a CAD system. So the opportunities for RFID in the construction industry uh, has a lot of, uh, it's, it's huge, obviously because of the large scales of different types of projects, but it's also very challenging. RFID technologies in the electrostatic fields have multiple opportunities of failure as, uh, on construction sites with the sand dust, the weather elements, and also the fact that uh, readers need to be strategically placed. So without further ado, we'll talk about construction, uh, RFID in the construction industry. Thanks. On a busy construction site, keeping track of tools and supplies is a big challenge. Well, when a tool is lost or missing, workers can spend hours looking for it, or if a supply has yet to be delivered, but the foreman thinks that it has been delivered, can save a lot of time looking for that. Students in the RFID lab at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln test how well radio frequency technology works on a real construction site. Well, we're trying to make sure that it all works, especially in a harsh environment with a lot of dust and a lot of heat. And it's a lot of things going on. A lot of things can run into equipment. It's very expensive equipment, and we're trying to make it work. So we're just trying to analyze the whole situation right now. RFID lab students work alongside contractors building a new tower at the University of Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha. Their goal is to use RFID to track equipment and building materials that enter and leave the work site. Every floor has different supplies, different percent complete, different tools that are going up and down, different people moving all around. So it's very complex to track in a huge tower where things are moving. Another challenge on construction sites is the vast amount of metal, which interferes with RFID. The Med Center is an incredibly complex building. It is completely concrete construction, therefore they have a lot of metal shoring around, which RFID using an electromagnetic field will create walls with these metal objects everywhere, so we have to create these RFID fields that can maneuver around these shoring walls. Once students identify and solve the problems inherent to construction sites, RFID technology could save builders a lot of time and money. 